lot of the countryside now has been ravaged by mines, fires and things like that, you know, and, and it's just one of those things that we need to be out there. Um, the land, our country looked after us growing up, now it's our turn to look after our country. We had freedom, we can go where we wanted, hunting, uh, food collecting, food gathering, just, just enjoying being kids, you know, and coming here into town and everything's different. What stopped us from going out? You really want to know? <laughs> well, just the, just sometimes it's the Aboriginal Council or Land Council, um, you know, and sometimes it's it's other things. But you know, we we hear different things, um, and yeah, you know, makes us sad that people are like this and we can't go back out in the country and you know just enjoy the day but a lot of bureau, bureaucrats and bureaucratic procedures and everything like that you know, just seems to kill off the, like the, that moment when you, you go actually go out there and you can feel feel alive again and feel that freedom that you know, and, and, and to think that now you're going out, you're looking over your shoulders for someone to come and hunt you off, you know? And, um, yeah, that's what hurts the most. You feel so relaxed when you're out on country. The worlds of everything else just goes when you're on country. The worries. It's just such a good feeling. Because when we were growing up, we were taught those things to, you know, to go out and, and just to look for, um, like, medicine and just the familiar things that are around. Like we found a kangaroo um, print out there today. And it's really good to go out there and just do all that, you know, show your kids um, what you've experienced over the time that you grew up. The feeling was just, yeah, just unbelievable. Getting out, you know, going to places where you haven't been before or showing your son what it's like. Yeah, well, I think it's important just just because of our background, you know, like growing up, knowing country and um, having, having to be able to explain like to my younger, my, my sons and, and um, nieces and nephews, like, yeah, just to, you know, that there's more to life than video games, really. <laughs> And being out on country, yeah, just, I love it. There's nowhere, like nowhere you'd rather be but out and about and exploring. You can feel the difference, like in, in town you've got all the stress of what goes on in town and we're out in the country you can just lay back and relax and and sit and enjoy the, the peaceness of, of what you experience out on country. Yes, we live in the memories of the time that we spent out there. They might not seem a lot to some people, but to us, or to me especially, it was, it was my way of life, and it still is. It's a beautiful moment going back out and you know, and knowing that it's still there and knowing that we can still go there. And that's the way we want it to stay that way. Yeah. 
Don't, no, don't block it up. Don't, don't fence it. Don't fence it off. Just leave it the way it is. Yeah, it was good. I just wish we could do it more often, like as a group, not just as a group, but as a like family. You know, we used to do it back in the days, but it's just yeah, falling falling apart, really. Yeah, like losing the elders that you know used to go out every weekend and and um, having that connection with the elders and yeah I think I think we're going to come back together and you know it's only going to be bigger and better throughout the years we still around and yeah